I don't want you come to me with that foolishness, you know. You can let a prime minister, and he's a prime minister around the country. It is time we learn to hold our leaders accountable for their actions and stop making it. I want to continue this argument about illicit six. God Almighty, I couldn't believe this thing goes to my God. We know what we want. We fix up the whole nation. Because I believe them think we forget. There are six persons in Parliament that the Integrity Commission said we are investigating you for illicit enrichment. So I noticed that uh, Mrs. Lisa Hannah raised a great point in the House of Parliament. And you know, I saw Mrs. Juliet Holiness just reminding Miss Lisa Hannah that she doesn't want her to even think or to have the Jamaican people thinking um, that they are changing the rules in Parliament or manipulating the rules or appear to manipulate the rules um, to suit themselves in the House of Parliament. If we are now appearing as a parliament to suggest to the public that in issues of controversy or what might be deemed as controversial, that we will take the position to change rules to suit us, that that might not go down well. So I just want you to I would like you to take note that your statement about changing rules is absolutely incorrect. The rules are actually not being changed. The rules are being... The rule, no, so it is not us who are changing rules. No, the rule, no, so it is not us who are changing rules, and I do not want you to give that impression to the public. Viz and subscribers, you see what's going on in the OSA Parliament? Rules are changing to suit all my people, we citizens of Jamaica, Ah, the culprit in OSA Parliament, doing honest and our husband, my people. Let me know in the comment section. Viz and subscribers, they heard you only saying, oh, the rules are not changing, but oh no, we are, we are not the one changing the rules. Viz and subscribers, it is clear, it's evident that the rules are changing. Viz and subscribers, don't be stupid, don't be fool. And this isn't about politics. This isn't about party. It's all about common sense. Views and subscribers. Why the rules need to be changed, my people? Views and subscribers. We are ready for ourselves from Juliet Onis. The rules are changing. She said it first, my people. No, the rule, no, so it is not us who are changing rules, and I do not want you to give that impression to the public. So, views and subscribers. With our speaker, dirty behavior, sitting on reports for months, my people, not stable report in the House of Parliament. And no rules need to be changed. Don't you find that suspicious? That look fish, my people? Stop, no, right? It is very likely, very possible, that such man is among the six illicit six. And you notice her first call of duty that the wife is to frustrate the tabling of the Integrity Commission reports. Nobody complained about the tabling of the report. And all of a sudden, her first job is to frustrate the tabling of integrity reform. Visa subscribers, don't you think Prime Minister Andrew Onis and Juliet Onis, the old speaker, adding something to my people? You heard what the MP said, my people? Juliet Onis' first job as old speaker is to frustrate the integrity commission, my people? Something all right here? Visa subscribers, it's evident something added, my people. Two years going to three years, Prime Minister Andrew Onis cannot declare his assets and liabilities, my people. Come on, viewers and subscribers. Something to look right here. Um, I also noticed that the one little clerk of the court, Miss Valerie Curtis, resigned. Hmm? Resigned. But dear Mrs. Juliet Holiness, do you believe that Mrs. Valerie was the only person who was supposed to be resigning? No, no, no. Jamaica, wouldn't you agree that the Prime Minister's wife should be resigning as well? So I wrote this under a post and somebody asked me, why? Our Mrs. Holiness, do why she need to resign? I'm like, what? I'm like, what? So, Mrs. Holiness, I know that you're a very educated woman. I've said this before. Admit it. Your husband has said it too. But to avoid any appearance of favoritism, nepotism or conflicts of interest ma'am <laughs> nice. 
and in upholding the principles and the policies of fairness, impartiality, ma'am, and integrity in governance, you need to resign. Some are going to argue that we are okay with you as a parliamentarian. But I am going to tell that some that you are not just any parliamentarian, you are the Prime Minister's wife. Yeah, man, you are the Prime Minister's wife. And this dual role that you play is what causes the conflict of interest. This, this two role. So, Uno love talk about dual citizenship, dual citizenship in a parliament. This is the same situation as having dual citizenship. She has a dual role. She's playing two roles. And this two role undermines her separation of power. Can she control her separation of power without compromising the integrity of both her roles? So, a part of her role is to remain loyal to her husband. And a part of her role is to, is to uphold integrity, fairness, and impartiality in the House of Parliament while conducting her role. Now, what I have observed, Mrs. Holiness, is that since Mr. Golden came out and spoke about your conflict of interest in your role, right, you, you start act like you give the PNP them a chance to talk. You are start act like you have been neutral with the two sides. But truth be told, Mr. Holiness is your husband, and we know that you cannot control your personal bias. It is because of this reason why you are so nervous while speaking. You are nervous while speaking. I mean, I read your body language, you know, and I'm not a body language expert. What you know? It's sad. You are trembling in your voice, your body language. Is us communicating signs of somebody who is not um, sure about what they're saying? Yes, son. Can I talk first? I'm gonna let you talk soon. Someone who is not sure about what they're saying. You don't believe in what you're saying, and we can't believe it either. That means a trouble in a John shop. No, this is bigger than what us, the average man, believe in. Which side we believe in? This not have nothing to do with party alignment, as I've continuously said. This not have nothing to do with your JLP or PNP. Because her role leads to the doubts that she's trying to stop Miss Lisa Hannah from highlighting. But the doubts that you're stopping Miss Lisa Hannah from highlighting are already in the minds of people. People already are sick. And I said, but wait, is Mrs. Gillette Holiness really impartial? Is she really fair? in these parliamentary proceedings and mrs holiness if you are concerned about the erosion or the mashing up of the public trust in the democratic process just no say mash up it don't erode and yam out and gone it mash right up we already seen and drawing these conclusions which in we should have trust in the house of parliament we shouldn't be looking and drawing conclusions your actions should be one displayed by an indi independent individual. And because you're not an independent individual, you cannot display these actions. You need to resign. And Jamaica should call for you to resign. This is not a labor right thing. This is not a PNP thing. These are from the 71% of people who never vote. We are looking. We are seeing. Where your loyalties lie. And if we are wrong, resign. And in you resigning from the Speaker of your house, you are clearing up our understandings of corruption. You are clearing up our understandings of your impartiality, our partiality not, eh? of your fairness. That is what resigning does. It communicates to us. That you people still are human beings and you're not, you're not ignorant, you're not arrogant and you still have the Jamaicans, Jamaican people's best interests at heart. Tell them. You have to be good. Yes, you have to be good. And in being good means that you need to resign. Tell her.
You need to resign. You need to resign. Yes. And behave yourself. Say that one more time. Behave yourself. Okay, Papa. So there you have it. Mr. and Mrs. Holiness and to all the powers that be from me and my son. He said it best. Behave yourself. Go and go resign. And let me tell you why we must be troubled. They are husband and wife. Let me listen to you. First of all, for me, it is improper for the wife of the prime minister to serve as speaker of the house. Particularly against the background where the husband as yet is two, two years. He has declared his assets and liabilities and they can't certify it. 